Yeah, so as Joel explained there, immigration, one of the uh, big topics. Let's bring in political commentator Nigel Nelson. Good to see you, Nigel. Uh, what, what seeds, what tiny little shreds of optimism could you potentially offer Rishi Sunak this morning? I mean, the polls have been wrong in the past and uh, it did say it wouldn't rain this morning and it has. <laughs> well, there you go. That's British weather for you, Paul. Um, I, I can't offer him many shred, uh, shreds of optimism. I'm afraid at the moment that it is uh, certain beyond some kind of miracle that Labour are, are going to get a big majority. And so the only question really is just how big? Now, you've mentioned the poll that came out last night, which means the Tories go down to uh, 64 MPs. That means they're vying with the Lib Dems to be the, the official uh, opposition. So I think that, that pretty much every Tory has now conceded that um, defeat is inevitable. We even have a, had a cabinet minister on the airwaves this morning saying just that, which is unprecedented the day before an election. So really, the only question is how big the Labour majority will be. And, and actually, there are some... If we, if we look at the opposition, and you were just saying that there's actually a debate now over whether the Conservatives would even have enough seats to form the opposition, whether it's them or the Liberal Democrats, the figures are in sort of 60, uh, low 60s in terms of seats. Uh, and, I, and I'm hearing that to carry out the duties of the official opposition, you need at least 100 seats. So there may be some sort of constitutional problem there about how the opposition carries out its duties in Parliament when he doesn't have enough seats. Yes, that, that, look, that's, that's absolutely right. That the that uh, one thing you do need is a a vibrant opposition, and that certainly means the Tories would have to come back with more than a hundred seats to get it. The way that the system is working now, that the opposition will now come from the House of Lords, the UK's upper chamber, um, and that's the way where it's going to end up working. It means that Keir Starmer can pretty much do anything he likes in government and he'll just have to get it through the House of Lords at the end of it. Now, the House of Lords can only delay legislation. They can't actually stop it. So one of the, the, the one uh, crumb of comfort the Conservatives might have is that people will think overnight, look, we're not quite sure we do want Labour to have this supermajority to be able to do anything. And they may then turn back to the Tories and just nudge them up to that hundred figure. Yeah. And, and just, just put into context for us what it would mean to see a centre-left government with a huge majority coming to power in a major European, major world economy, given what we're seeing is happening in France and the way Olaf Scholz, for example, is polling in Germany. Yes, I mean, one of, the, one of the problems that Keir Starmer will face on the international stage is what is going on elsewhere. Now, what he says is, as Prime Minister, he will work with whatever foreign leader is elected. So although he may not be terribly keen on, on for instance, a President Trump, he will try and work with him. He won't be very keen on the idea that uh, France will be shifting right. But again, he will try and work with them. Now, what, the, uh, what National Rally has said in France is that they won't cooperate with us on migration, uh, especially the, the uh, boats which are coming across the channel. That's one of the key things that Keir Starmer has been campaigning on, to do deals with uh, EU countries so we can actually return people who come across, uh, come across here on small boats. So, so one, one shouldn't underestimate the difficulties that he might face globally. Uh, but again, he will, he will have a mandate from the people to uh, do pretty much what he likes domestically. And that has been the substance of this election campaign. Yeah, it's going to be fascinating to see just how big that Labour majority is if the polls are to be believed. Nigel, good to see you. Thank you. That's Nigel Nelson, a political commentator with uh, his kind of election preview. The polls open uh, tomorrow morning here in the UK. As for here at Downing Street today, the rain has relented.